Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine that you have lost a loved one. And then as a family, you sit in a meeting and you deliberate on the way forward. Then for some reasons, maybe financial constraints, you decide that you're going to give your loved one a befitting send-off at the city cemetery, the Nairobi, the, the Langata Cemetery. And then with all the sadness in your countenance and the tears that cannot be wiped away by any other person, you reach the Langata Cemetery gate and you find you are met with a hostile personnel the Langata Cemetery workers there on strike and they send you away and they lock that gate because you cannot bury your loved ones there without them. They have been employed there to help us. Staring at your loved one with tears on your face, you are stranded and you don't know what to do. And this is happening in your country. You are not in an alien country. And you are a taxpayer, whether as a shareholder or a non-shareholder. And you look at your fellow Kenyans on strike and you do want to hate them. Then as they sing Hakietu Hakietu and the media is with them, some of them give chilling accounts of how they have not been paid for three good months. And you are in Nairobi too, and you realize that three good months without any pay, it is as traumatizing as having a body of a dead loved one. So you are staring at them, you are sandwiched between two thoughts, whether to hate them or sympathize with them, and you don't know what to do, and I repeat, in your own county, in your own city, where Governor Sakaja a year ago while campaigning said, Anailewa Shidae Watuanai. And I remember them in a debate with uh, his competitor, Polycap Igadi. He debated and articulated issues of the Nairobians so well that we thought, why not? Even some of the Azimio supporters decided to vote him in because the way he presented himself, Sakaja showcased uh, 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 an attitude of someone who, was the, who had the answer to the Nairobian plight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what happened to some of the Nairobians today when they took their loved ones to the Nairobi Cemetery and they were met by workers on strike. How worse can things turn out to be? I speak with a heavy heart for both groups. Living in Nairobi and you have not been paid your wages or salary, your remuneration for three months is really very sad. How do you communicate to your landlord? Even if the landlord was as good as an angel, very few of them will tolerate you. And you endure that pain. How do you eat? How do you take your children to school with the, with, 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 with the school fees already going up? I sympathize with them. And then I, I, I imagine parents who have lost their children or some sons and daughters who have lost the, 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 their parents and they are stranded with their, the, the dead bodies of the loved ones and they are now thinking, do we take them to the mortuary? That again needs some expenses. 
And maybe, as I mentioned earlier, it is because of the financial constraints that they were compelled to go and give what may seem to be a befitting send-off in the cemeteries. In some cultures, burying your loved one in a city cemetery is almost an abomination. From where I come from, for example, it is only that sometimes economically your hands are tied and so you can't take them home. But they really love that when you lose a loved one, a loved one, then you take them to your rural home. And so some of these people were taking their loved ones there, the, the dead bits of their loved ones, with a lot of pain. They, have, they would have really wished that they take them to the shagos, but they could not. Now they are compelled by circumstances that the economic situations that they have to think of taking the, 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 their loved ones to the mortuaries. Some of these people were only aided by harambees. The neighbors, the relatives sat down and, and, and contributed something on WhatsApp everywhere to aid them. And now they have to think of going back to the mortuary. They cannot. What is really happening? I have heard stories about corruption in Nairobi. And things seem not to be working for Governor Sakaja. And I don't want to judge him. But really, something needs to be done. Just the other day, when he was supposed to launch the Dishi Namtani, the, 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 pub, the Nairobi Public School Feeding Program, that was really hyped. In some schools, it failed to take off. And some people feel that this is just another avenue of corruption. I understand that sometimes money delay from the national government. But Sakaja campaigned very closely with uh, President William Samuel Ruto. He can walk into his office. He can make a call. Because people cannot be suffering in their own country as if we were invited here. As if we are visitors. And then the, 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 the utterances from our leaders are really wanting. At some point we are told to chimbe uh, ninizetu za, za mafuta. And, and, and we are told that the situation is going to get worse. With the high taxes ravaging and hunger and unemployment. You, 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 yesterday you saw how over 9,000 plus uh, you know, Kenyans went for an interview that only required about 350 NYS personnel. And this paints a picture of our predicament. And the way the, the government responds to us, whether it is the national government or the county government, they don't care about us. And I dare repeat here that they only care about their masters, the international ma masters. They would rather listen to them they would rather remove subsidies so that we can suffer because it is a dictate from the U.S. They would rather increase taxes against our chagrin because the IMF, International Monetary Fund, has said so. Really, what is happening? In a country that I, and I understand, even in, the, in, the, in Nairobi, it is riddled with corruption. And cartels are not giving Sakaja any peace and sometimes his hands are tried when you are campaigning it is very easy to tell people how you know their plight and how you deal with them and then when you are there you realize it is not very easy i think we should call upon sakaja to do something as i said i don't want to judge but sakaja must sit down with his think tanks and understand what to do we cannot have people who are uh, staying and working for over three months they have not been paid let this be done. And perhaps this is the reason why Uhuru Kenyatta decided to change this to the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, something that was really criticized. But you will agree with me that under um, Badi, things were working compared to it, the way it is now. There are no drugs in the hospitals. Very soon you will hear the military attendants on strike. And it is really getting worse, ladies and gentlemen. I sympathize with both the groups, those who are striking, those you have got their loved ones, we pray for you and something needs to be done. Governor Sakaja, 
rise up to the occasion you really talked tough unajua shida watu wanai do something 